thank you for watching another edition of Moms on the Go. We appreciate you watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel. So today I'm excited to introduce this book that I just finished reading uh, to you guys. I, so this is a review that I'm doing on this book. So if you guys have any books that you want me to review, um, just shoot me an email. I'll put my email at the bottom of the description here. But if you have a book that you want me to review and make sure that I will read it and I will give an honest review of the book. So here's the book that I'm reading. And this is called Become a 21st Century Entrepreneur by J.J. Simmons. Make sure there's not a, a glare on this. So I don't know if you guys are seeing this backwards or not, but there's the back of the book and that's J.J. Simmons. And I actually met him and he autographed the book for me. See right there. But this book, if you are thinking of being an entrepreneur, this is the book to have because he explains everything so well in here. He gives you points and ideas. He's telling you his testimony about his life and things that went on in his life personally and what got him from point A to B. He's written several books after this one, and there may be a book before that, I'm not sure, but it's an excellent read. And one of the things, as you see, I'm going to show you in here a little bit how I highlight. See, I've highlighted a lot of stuff in my book. Um, so I cannot resell it or do anything with it because there was so much good information in here. I had to highlight different things. I underlined things. I put dates on when I read it. So this is one of the things that I really like about the book is that it gives you an opportunity to write things down, notes or ideas or suggestions. They ask you questions. And then, for instance, in this chapter, it says list three things to become a better self-proclaimer. That's one of the best chapters that I've read is about self being a self-proclaimer. A lot of times, uh, we don't want to give our own self, um, our own selves credit for what we're doing and what we've done because we don't want people to think that we have a big head or that we're talking about ourselves too much. But he explains in here how Jesus was a self-proclaimer because in a lot of the scriptures you hear Jesus saying, I am, I am, I am. So he proclaimed what he was and what he is. So he is telling you and giving you the green light that you can be a self-proclaimer yourself. And it's okay to say something that you're not. Because call those things that be not as though they were. So you have to be your own proclaimer. You have to say, I am an entrepreneur I am successful, I am smart, I am beautiful, I am anything that you proclaim yourself to be, you can say it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do this or you can't do that or that you're not this or if you say that you're a model or you say that you're an entrepreneur or you say that you're the best of the best. And they say, no, you're not. How can you say that? Well, you can say anything that you want to say, because if you feel that you're that, then guess what? You're that. So if you think negative of yourself, then that's going to be what you're thinking is negative. So Jesus was a proclaimer. I'm not telling you to go out and be Jesus because nobody can be Jesus, but Jesus, but you can proclaim yourself to be whatever you want to be. And that just puts it in your head that you can succeed and you can be whatever you want to be. Be a dreamer. So anyone without dreams, I don't know who they are because you should always have dreams. You should always dream bigger of anything you can do. If you're not dreaming for yourself, encourage someone else. Dream for them. I'm probably going to buy the second book after this one. I don't remember what he called it or what the name was of, of the book, but this was so good. 
that I can take notes and go back and reread my notes and reread it and I can get more and more out of it because there's a lot of things that not only me but my family I know I've told people in my family different things that I thought um, in one one thing that it says right here is you must learn to guard your heart against haters and even fans sometimes so that's really pertinent to today you always guard your heart the Bible tells you that as well I'm not a Bible memorizer so I'm not going to tell you what scripture that's in but I know it's in there so you can go look it up or search it up or whatever and it tells you to guard your heart because out of it comes all of the things of the world your heart is meant to love but sometimes your heart can be deceiving but you should always guard it and protect it because whatever if there's bad things that come around or bad people they can get in there and confuse you and confuse your heart so therefore you got to guard it from everything um, even like if you go to church and you get out of church you have to guard yourself from being around certain things and certain people because your spirit is out there and someone can get in and just cause havoc and you don't want that so again, it says that you must learn to guard your heart against haters and even fans. And there's always going to be haters. You know it, and I know it. There's always going to be people that hate on you, including family members. We don't want to think about it sometimes, but sometimes family members are haters too. And also your fans. We want to always, now the social media is around, we want to have a lot of fans and uh, but you might want to guard your heart against them too because not everybody means well for you the way I like to look at things a lot of the times is if you had people before the internet and you trusted them and you know that you know that they wouldn't harm you or do wrong to you those are your day ones those are the ones that you're going to want to keep around you and you're going to want to scrutinize and kind of look carefully at the people that are just slipping up into your life and commenting on things in your post and they don't mean any good for you because if they if they love you okay I get it you can correct someone and tell someone in love but if they're not and they're just critiquing you for no reason then you don't need to listen to them and those are the not not people that need to be in your circle so you want to keep positive people in your circle and this book is going to help you do that um, it also says that um, the reason why the haters the haters because if you are not strong enough their words can cut wounds can cut oh, I'm sorry I can't even read my this because it's not light enough the haters because if you're not strong enough their words can wound you and slow you down the fans because if you are not careful their celebration can puff your head up and you can start thinking that you're untouchable so again you have half a one and half a dozen of the other so you don't want your haters to cut you down because no one needs that we can cut ourselves down if we need to and you don't need anybody anybody to puff your head up because you need to stay grounded no matter what you need to know that you're here not up here and that you're untouchable because we're all touchable we all have to answer to what we do in life and you don't want to seem like you're you don't want to start thinking that you're untouchable I don't care how much money you have or what status you are or whatever so those are a couple of things and um, in the book that it talks about um, let's see I'm trying to think of something else 
Um, this is a chapter chapter on becoming a monster. It says why it tells you why you need to become a monster, and that's in a good way. You know, you need to take control of your situation and knowing that you want to be an entrepreneur, whatever that is, you want to make sure that you take control of that. And also says in in the economy we're living in, you must train your heart and mind to resist shots taken towards you. So people are always going to take shots at you, whether it's good shots or bad shots, mainly bad, especially nowadays, because they can hide behind the internet when they're taking those shots of you. So you want to always guard your heart for that, right? So if they do take shots at you and you happen to read it, then you won't be upset and bothered just because so-and-so said something and who are they they're thousands of miles away and they probably live in a bucket you know and they have no impact on your life or your world so who the heck cares about what they're thinking about you I don't care what they say about you you're the controller of you and if God loves you and you love you, then that's all that matters, right? What they say, what the haters say, what the people who hide behind Facebook say or Instagram or whatever social media is, it doesn't matter. So go out and get this book or order it. Go online, Becoming a 21st Century Entrepreneur. I love it. It's a wonderful book. The author is amazing. He's nice. And you want to go and get it. It's a wonderful book. A plus. Thumbs up.